Hello there. I am determined to get a color image of Pac-Man. Um, since I've bought the narrowband filters, I have not been able to capture more than one hour's worth of data because the weather's been so bad. But tonight might be the first all clear night, so I should have enough time to switch narrowband filters and get some color in this image. Um, one sad discovery I just found out is when I focused on the hydrogen alpha filter, I switched over to my oxygen filter and I noticed the focus is different. So that is going to be a pain. It's not just a matter of spinning the filter wheel to a new filter. I'm going to have to take time to refocus the new filter. And even worse, if I'm changing the focus, I'm going to have to capture flats for the previous filter before I change the focus. This is not fun. <laughs> so we'll see how this works out. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing um, 300 second exposure. That's five minutes. The gain and offset is the same as always. I've set my hydrogen alpha, alpha exposures to 24 pictures, but I'll probably reduce that. I want to switch to the other filter sooner. Um, let's take a look. Uh, this is the first image I've captured so far, by the way. I'm just getting started. Um, I sound stuffed up. It's that allergy time of year again for me. I hate it. Now let's switch over to the, the guiding and see how that's doing. Um, not too bad. I've seen it better. I could probably do a better job of balancing this Newtonian telescope. But I, th I think it's enough to give me round stars. It looks like the bullseye is pretty good there. And the numbers aren't too bad over here. So that's what I've got so far. I'm going for color by hook or crook. Okay, I'll see you later. Oh there. I have now moved on to the Oxygen 3 filter. And this is what the first raw image looks like. It worries me a little bit that I can no longer see Pac-Man, at least if it's there, it's very faint. Is that normal for Oxygen 3? I have no idea. I guess I'll find out in post-processing if I did this right or not. Um, the process in between filters wasn't that much fun. I did capture flats for the previous filter before I wound up having to refocus for this new filter. So, um... Right now, I'm just thinking that there's got to be a better way <laughs> to streamline this process. So that'll be my next problem to solve. Uh, it just refreshed another image. Um, the stars aren't looking as round as they did in my other one. Let's see. Zoom in. Well, I guess they're not too bad in the center. I'm doing five-minute exposures again on this filter, so... We'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, guiding still looks the same, so that's good. All right, that's all I've got to share. I'll see you later. Hello there. Just wanted to show you how my sulfur filter is looking. This is the third filter of the night and the last one. Um, I'm going to cut this short. I smell a skunk, and I'm getting out of here. Okay, I'll see you later. Thank you.